Women FC TV with Gary Elphick looking ahead to Dover Athletic in the league this Saturday. Gary, what are your thoughts going into it? We're off the back of a good win at Avely on Saturday. Good run of performances. How are you feeling going into Saturday? Yeah, obviously we, there's a confident mood around the place at the moment. Uh, we've strung together some really good performances of late, um, but obviously it's complacency now and mentality. Uh, they come to like, the front of my mind, so we just got to make sure we're proper at it. You know, they'll be scrapping for their lives, and um, we just got to make sure that we carry on, set our own standards from within, uh, which is, as I say, been been brilliant of late. We met them right at the start of the season, the away trip was back in August, the 2-0 win. What were your yeah. memories from that game and what would you like to build on from that? Yeah, I think it was a fantastic performance that day. I remember being very late to the game. Uh, I think it was like a 10 minute walk up and out and play. So, uh, But I think a lot's changed there. They've got Jake Lavelle there now as the gaffer and I think they've um, become slightly more solid in recent weeks. So. I think it's going to be a completely different game as it was to then uh, and as I say we've got to be definitely guarded against complacency and making sure that we're, we're properly at it. 100% and looking at the performances of late as your speciality is obviously the goal uh, the defensive side of everything the keeping yeah. the ball out of the net yeah. a few more clean sheets so far this year Averley, Tunbridge, Eastbourne what have you put that down to so far? Um, I just think there's a real sort of clarity about us with sort of in position and out of possession um, and I just think Work rate obviously is is the one as well. You know, I think we've really outworked teams in recent weeks, especially without the ball, and not only the back four, um, the whole team. And um, I think that all helps. You defend as a team, and it's a great mindset to have as well. Just getting them a couple of coconuts, as I call them, and uh, yeah, definitely something to build on. I think we're always going to be a little bit risk and reward the way we play. But obviously, if the gaps and spaces are right behind the ball, then obviously I think that can really help us going forward. 100% and I mean the attacking players get involved in that a little bit as well I mean, 100% I think someone who typifies that is Dan Cashman I just think his work rate has gone absolutely through the roof recent weeks and uh, I'm seeing a player now that I never saw sort of like a month or two ago and that, maybe that's just match fitness but when he's running the way he is and that sort of goes throughout a team Ollie Pierce from the front and uh, it, it's been brilliant to watch of late it really has Amid that defence is uh, Alfie Young, uh, who's someone you actually signed first yeah, time yeah. When, he, when he first came through. Yeah, always, like always knew he was going to become this player. Uh, no, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been great and um, it's been an absolute masterstroke from Inch. You know, he could end up being one of the signings of the season because um, if we hadn't brought him in the building, uh, recent performances may have been different. So um, he's a great. He's an older in those 26 now, only 26 still, which is which is crazy, but. He's coming to what you know is in great years as a centre half, and he's reading the game. He's more vocal now, and um, it's, yeah, it's, it's been an absolute masterstroke from from Inch doing that. I feel perfect timing in the end with Joe getting the injury just when he did, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, looking at the injury list in the squad at the moment, is there any news at all that you know? Of? Yeah, so I think there's a few sort of returning on the fringes. I think Greg Lua, um, I think Nicky Wheeler's going to be a little bit longer. Um, so there's a couple, and, and Joe Rice sort of trained. He done the warm up uh, last session. But I think they're probably probably a week or two off still, Greg and Joe Rye. Um, so they're the ones. And I think Nick's, um, he's still sort of analysing his groin and seeing if, he, if he's got to go and see a like, specialist on that. So, uh, yeah, there's still a few to come back, um, which is great. And, you know, as I call it, like, the dressing room's going to self-police. You know, it, it's going to be in a, in a stage whereby you've got to really try hard to get back in this team. And that's how we've always envisaged it being. So it's been brilliant. And uh, talking of well, brilliant things at the football club, the news came out this week about our game against Bath City on the 24th of March being televised. Yeah. The club's never had a game televised before, it's the first time ever. Uh, what an amazing accomplishment for the club. How does it feel to well, know they've got the big cameras on you guys? Yeah, I think it's great. Once again, like, it sort of um, it signals just where the club's, you know, the direction it's heading in, you know, from when I was first here. You know, if someone told me you you know, you'd have a game t televised, I'd be like, you know, you're talking about the wrong club. So it just shows you the progress that. Adam's taking the club too, and um, as I say, you know, it's, it's been great, and it's a great uh, day for us all, where we can all showcase what we're about, hopefully, and, and put on a good show. So, once again, you know, fantastic news for the club.